Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> and unlike the other episode where Amy asks, Why are you guys called the banana splits? It instead ends with Trooper Fade. It instead ends with yeah, cuts to Bon Bon saying to Drooper, We're gonna be great friends! And then Drooper blushes and then fades. God. Hey, enough. Hey. And she has a cell phone. She's on it. So. And she's on it whenever she gets the chance. And she always gets the chance. Anyway, now on to three So this is... Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh. Okay. Alright. Wait, no. Hold it. Okay. Perfect. So, this is Leafy. His personality trait is going to be... Lay, a laid-back kind of person. I mean, it's your man. It's going to be even more laid-back than Trooper. Yes. And he's going to be a calm person. He's really going to bring the trumpet. And, you know, he's going to have this kind of voice because... I'm sorry to say this, but... I think... Let's be, I think I'm sorry to offend anybody out there who is, you know, these type of things, but... I think Leafy is kind of like a hippie. I'm, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to the person who created this character. That's just my opinion. It's just my opinion. If you watch this, I'm sorry if this offends you. Anyway, he's gonna be really good at playing the trumpet, and he's gonna be a little bit good at the And I'm sorry. I'm sorry if it's not okay for me to use your OCs. Uh, and the keyword is F. And she's not gonna be a member of the Benedict Splits because we're only gonna have. Twelve, twelve members of the Banana Split, because if there were thirteen, then that would be too much, and that would be way too much. I'll, and that would be way too much. I'll tell you that much. Do you hear me? It's way too much. I'll tell you. It's way too much. I'll tell you. Anyway. I'm sorry if this quizzes anyone, but if you will be hitting on the character named Charlotte, and I haven't made the plush of Charlotte yet, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just think it's so cute. I don't. Well, I haven't seen it, so it must be an unpopular ship or a ship that doesn't exist. Anyway. I'm gonna be talking about Gypsy. Uh, I mean, Brandon. This could be a very long video. Now, this is Brandon. His personality trait is gonna be kind of like Shadows, but only a little bit nicer. Only nicer. He's gonna be Harmony's cousin. He's gonna be the one of the nicest people to the army. Hold it. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Hold it. Where is Snorky? Where is he? Okay. There he is. He was under Bon Bon's face. And he and Snorky are going to be very good friends. He and Snorky are going to be very, 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 very good friends. 
and you get the idea. So yeah. And I couldn't decide if I was gonna give him a rat tail or long hair. So I decided to do both. Alright? Now let's move on to Gypsy. I'm sorry I forgot. I forgot to review Yuko. She's going to be coming before, she'll be debuting before Leafy's appearance. Now, Yuko's personality trait is going to be very shy and like Hootie, you know, like Hootie, she has a crush on Bingo. Anyway, she's going to be a Japanese monkey with, and she's going to be a Japanese monkey without... The Japanese accent. The keyboard being put out. Because if I did, then that would be a little bit racist and offensive to Japan people. Jap or Japanese people, I'm sorry. Anyway. She loves gardening, just like Harmony. And she knows, and like Harmony, she knows karate. Did I mention that she does karate? Apparently not. Uh, I guess that's it. I guess we better move on to Gypsy. Now, Gypsy... No, Gypsy is gonna be... Branded self trust. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I just think it's too cute. I just think these ships are too cute. And if you don't, then I respect your opinion. Especially if you respect mine. Because if you don't, I will inch and I will ban you from my channel. Now where will we? Oh, and sorry if that's good as anybody. Oh yeah. Okay. We hold it. Anyway, Gypsy's personality will be very fun and energetic, and she'll be the singer of the group, and she'll have a very good voice. Oh, I forgot to mention. Hold it. All the... All the... The female characters in the club will have very well arranged singing voices. And that's especially good for Harmony. And she has a crush. And did I mention that Brandon has a crush on her? I guess I kind of did, but you get the idea. She's going to be a very fun person. She's going to be very kind. And. Like Bingo, Hootie, and Bon Bon. Wait, no, no. That's what I was saying. Like Bingo, Hootie, and Bon Bon. She's gonna be a little bit sassy, but probably the least sassy out of all three of these people. Maybe. I guess that's it. Let's get rid of these. Now for the characters I haven't made. Now, there's gonna be Lizzie. She's going to be a kind and caring sister. And she especially likes being around Drooper, her brother. Now where will we? Oh, yeah. There's also going to be Greedy Duck, who will be hitting on Lizzie. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Just offense anybody. It's just my opinion. It's just my opinion. Now, where were we? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so. And speaking of Greedy Duck, 
Greedy Duck will be... Greedy Duck will be the... Be cool. Will have similar personality traits to Bingo. Only he doesn't really come up with the best pranks. At least as good as others. Anyway, despite the name Greedy, he won't actually be greedy. No, that's all I can say now. Oh, oh crap, everything's fuzzy. Let me help with that. Perfect. Now, where were we? Oh, yeah. Gonna be a character named Charlotte who will be Leafy's love and trust, and she'll have the same character traits to Rouge to Bat, only a little nicer. Which is also going to be Mutis, which is going to be very similar to Vincent Barca 2's version of him. Except he'll have more personality because if he was just an average ordinary guy, then, then I'm sorry to say to, and I'm sorry to say Vincent Barca 2 if you're watching this, but I'm not sure if he'll be the most popular character. Now, where were we? Oh, yeah. Ham. <laughs> this am. This character trait will be This character trait will be very calm and laid back, like <laughs> except he'll have more but he'll have more intelligence than trooper and less cal less calmness than Leafy. And he'll have a crush on Galaxy. Speaking of Galaxy, Galaxy is an intergalactic character who's very kind and endearing. And she comes from another planet. I don't know, I don't know where it's from. Anyway, I guess that's about, about her. And there's going to be a character named Officer Seaweed. It's going to be like, you know, an officer character. And there's also going to be... And now we're talking about the supporting characters. Talked about. Talked about. Greedy. I talked about Greedy Duck. I talked about Greedy. I talked about Greedy something. 
talked about greedy. Talked about greedy, Charlotte. And see this galaxy. And now I'm talking about Officer Stevie. Officer Stevie. A typical officer character. Because we sure that's just Stevie from the minute it's supposed to be. Only he doesn't like to drink. Hold it. Okay, okay, I'm sorry to keep everybody waiting. I'm just taking the notifications just to get rid of stuff I don't like. And there's also going to be this character named. Also going to be a character named Victoria. There's also going to be a character named Fleetress. There's going to be Flegel's sister, and Fleetress will be a mother, and she has a daughter named Victoria, who's going to be Flegel's uncle, and. Fleetress acts a lot like Flegel. Only a little less bossy. Now where will we? And there's also going to be two characters with the same personality trait. Baby Kai and Isabel. Now they're both energetic ch children, and when the banana splits were in trouble, when the banana splits were in trouble, Baby Kai and Isabel had to do everything they could to save them. make her debut in the episode before the episode that's coming up before the last it's going to be called two an owl and two primates it was originally going to be called angel from japan but i decided to change it anyway okay it's going to be this new character. Her name is Yuko, as you can probably see. And when she comes in, and then Bingo starts hitting on her. And that makes Hootie a little bit jealous. And she denies it to all of her friends, including Bingo. Even though Trooper knows that Hootie is jealous. No. But in the end, Bingo decided... To have a love triangle, you know, and it's very rare. Anyway, where will we? Where will we? Oh yes. Yeah. Oh. Where were we? There's also gonna be a pot. An anti-protagonist. 
No, not in Texas. Anti protagonist. His name is Floyd the Fox. He's going to be Snooki's acquaintance who Snooki often gets annoyed with. And he'll make his debut in the episode The Fox Trot. And whenever Floyd is with Harmony, that makes Rookie a little bit jealous. A little bit. But in the end, Rookie and Floyd become good friends. Now for the antagonists of the show. The first antagonist will be the first antagonist will be Robot Flegel, who will make his debut in season one episode of the show. Devil Dog. It's gonna be similar to the episode. It's going to be similar to the episode. Huh? You want anything? Not, I'm not really hungry right now. Okay. As I was saying. It's going to be similar to the episode. It's going to be similar to the episode's imitation crabs and, and crab board from SpongeBob SquarePants. You know, it's gonna have the plot where, you know, Bingo was watching the Five Nights at Freddy's movie, and then he has nightmares of, about a rope, about Freddy and his, about Freddy, about Freddy Faz, and then he has a nightmare about Freddy Fazbear chasing him. And he has a nightmare about Freddy Fazbear trying to kill him. And then, Flickle was acting a little strange lately. Hold it. I need to see something. Alright, we're done with that. No, where were we? Oh, yeah. It then... Then... Then, and our Flegel acting a little strange lately. Whenever he walks, it makes mechanical sounds. And Trooper noticed the same thing. So Trooper and Bingo decide to go undercover. Then, Snorky, Harmony, Hootie, and Amy came in and were wondering what they were doing too. It was after after Trooper after Trooper and Bingo told their story. Harmony tells them that that Flegel that they were talking with Flegel and you know, Flegel was acting very strange to them too, and so they all decided to go undercover. And then they knock on Flegel's and they they knock at the door to Flegel's bedroom, and then they tie him to the bed. And then they were opening the closet and they noticed another flickle in the box. I mean, in the closet. They asked each other, they asked Bingo and F Bingo asked both of them questions. However, the flickle in the closet gets all them right, while the other one in gets them all wrong. So, 
and the one on the bed must have been the robot. So they decided to take off. They decided to take off the bow. So they decided to tear off the the fabric, revealing a robotic arm. Then they tore off his eyes. And then Mobile well, Fuego becomes a Terminator. And then they all gun they all but they all got into an epic fight. And then once they thought the robot Fuego was dead, he then gets back up, revealing so revealing parts of his Antoskeleton falling off. Entoskeleton falling off. Then and then Fuego gets and then he stabs the he then get, he then gets a fish and then slices the, he then jams it he grabs a crowbar and jams it in Robot Fuego's head. He then buries him in the backyard. Amy, kiss, Amy kisses him on the cheek for his heroic actions and Fuego was blushing. And then Fuego makes a joke saying that I guess my robotic I guess I guess the bi robot imposter is grounded for life. And and then they all laughed and went back inside. How and then it was nighttime. Then the camera goes out to the back pans over to the backyard and and the destroyed fleek robot. And then its eyes turn turn burning red as he laughed maniacally one last as he laughed maniacally. Maniacally. And then after that, it showed Fre it showed a jump scare from Freddy Fazbear himself. From Freddy Fazbear. And then most of the other robots are the same thing, with the exception of the robot version of Snorky. The exception of the robot version of Snorky, who's actually a savior. And and then you get the you get the Willy's Wonderland animatronics, who all represent bloodthirsty, heartless killing monsters. But just the heartless killing monsters. And then you get the sour grape sponge. And they always represent me. You know. Mean, you know, girls. Mean girls. And Charlie is the meanest out of all of them. And finally, you get. Lord Gustav, Lord Gustav, who is the Lord Gustav, who is the main antagonist of the show. He tried to. It was his duty to, to try, and to try and commit to war, to. It was his duty to commit world domination upon the his duty to, to commit world domination upon the He's similar to Eggman though he's a little, he's a little smarter. He's still global but a little smarter. Well guys, that's it for the and then it's personality traits. Sorry if this was just a long video. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Bye!
Wait, let's try that again. I'll see you guys later. Bye.